Hey, this I'm here, and it is um, day number what is it five? Let me look at the calendar real quick. It is day number five. That is right, day number five of this vlogging my food and all that good stuff. So you see, I uh, I went and bought this at Walmart. Um, or I'm just show, going to show you today what I bought. A grocery haul kind of thing. Went to Walmart and went to Ingles. Got this at Walmart, the coconut oil. Got this at Ingles, and this one seems to be pretty good. It's um, Walden Farms, and it's got apple cider vinegar. I don't see any soy in it, and the only kind of sweetener would be in it would be monk fruit. So that looks pretty keto safe. You know, um, let's see what else I got from Walmart. I got, is this from Walmart? Yeah. These, this was, uh, these are chimichurri. I've never tried this before, but it's chicken thighs coated with seasoning. And I looked, and it's got a 18 fat, 2 carbs, and 18 protein. Let me move this um, other bag over. So that's something I've got. Um, other meat that I got, I am. I can't afford all grass-fed, organic everything. So I know a lot of people are gonna comment. This is, you know, some of these things are not a hundred percent perfect. But if you can't afford, you know, everything to be organic and you know whatever then you do what you have to do right you do what you have to do till you can got some bacon ends and pieces from walmart these um is seven fat no carbs and four protein okay um what other meat i went to ingles and grocery store i like ingles they seem to be cheapest got some um what is this this is 75 25 fat and it was only two dollars and eighty cent it was reduced so got some ground beef and then i bought a 80 20 ground beef to mix with it so yeah well yeah not everything's perfect but here's some flat iron steak they had marked down i like that it originally was 10 over 10 dollars but it's like 446 for this I don't know the nutrition. I have to look it up. Um, but that's that. And yeah. This is um, Tyson drumsticks. And I'm thinking, because I want to make bone broth, but I know you have to have good clean meat for bone broth, or bones for bone broth. This one has no antibiotics, steroids, or hormones in it. So I'm assuming these would be good for bone broth, the bones. So that's what I use bought meat wise, okay? I don't know if the lighting is any good, but got some cherry gold butter. I did get something that was okay. Got some uh, cauliflower rice. And they have some mushrooms. And lastly, I've got wait, got some stevia. That one just basically is stevia water and stevia. No other chemicals in it. And then eggs. Of course, they're not grass-fed, whatever. But it is what it is. And I've already got some greens here. I have kale that grow out in the yard, so I can get kale as I need it. So don't think I'm just eating meat. I do have kale in, out there. Um, yeah, I guess that's about it for today's kind of grocery haul and everything so that should be good on the meat so i know that um i'm trying to eat be prepared so i'll probably divide up the hamburger meat go ahead and cook it up it's really tasty, ground up with the uh, cauliflower rice. 
and I thought, well, I could do that, and I could go ahead and make hamburger patties and have them ready to go as I need them. But I really like this stevia because it's so concentrated, it doesn't take much at all. It's got 200 servings in the container. All right, so that lasts a while. Now, I've been using some of this. Uh, this is better stevia from now, and uh, it's hazelnut flavored. Been using it in coffee, but it takes a lot more of this. I guess because it's got glycerin in it is the first ingredient. Hazelnut flavor is the second ingredient. Then it has stevia. This one is not so. Ooh, but this one says it's got 462 servings in this hazelnut stevia. So, yeah. When they're not blended with a bunch of other ingredients, it's pretty good. So, but yeah, I wanted to just show you what I got today at the store. What the gate is for? The gate is for the dogs. You want to see my dog? And everything. There's my son. He's studying Pilgrim's Progress. Uh, any other exciting news that I can share with you? My weight did come back down from all the sodium. Let me get where it's better lighting. My lighting in my house right now is not that hot. I need to get the chickens to get good quality eggs. I need to get some laying mash for the chickens or pellets because uh, you know this way you can I can get healthy eggs, right? I'm growing some rosemary. Sprouted some rosemary. They do sprout. See, look at them roots. Oh, my goodness. It's growing great. So, just got to get it in some dirt. All right. Well, I'm going to check with you guys later. Hope you're having a great day five of June. June the 5th. Yeah. And stay strong and stay positive. And um, everything. Today is glute day, by the way. Haven't been out working out yet. I wanted to go ahead and get my grocery stuff done. Um, how's the bicep doing? Not probably. I don't know. But my weight went back down because water weight. Water weight can come up or down pretty quickly. Um, I guess I will talk to you guys later. And that's about wraps this video up. If it was boring, let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you um, like whatever you saw. If you can just subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Michelle Transform 2018, and then my fitness pal is he is for you 2004. I think it is. You'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. But yeah, um, that's about it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.